guys welcome back to my channel so happy to have you here uh thank you for coming back if you are returning to watch my videos again and i'm so excited to have you if you're new thank you so much for giving my channel a go so excited to have you here um so i usually do a lot of grocery hauls on my channel uh which i really enjoy watching myself so that is why i started doing them on my channel uh i just love to see what everyone buys and how they meal prep and things like that so this is why I do my grocery hauls but I thought because of the way I do it I'm soon going to be going on my big huge monthly grocery haul so if you've seen one of my videos it's a monthly grocery haul huge Costco Tesco Aldi is usually what I do so I do three shops in one day I get a lot of groceries and it's a big huge thing so I'm about to get paid because I do it when I get paid once a month I go out and do our big, huge monthly grocery haul. So I'm about to do that in a couple of days is payday. So I thought I would walk you through my process of how we do it, why we do it, my grocery lists, writing, how I prepare that and how I get that together and my meal planning because I meal plan and that's how it makes this work. So I'll give you a little backstory. Basically, I'm Erin and I have a five-year-old little boy named Brody and I have a husband, Richard. Uh, so it's just a family of three of us. Um, when I get paid, I do a lot of budgeting. I do a paycheck budget system and I use the the budget by paycheck system by Budget Mom. If you have not seen her on YouTube or Instagram, please find her. She is amazing. She really helps you out. Um, I will do a budget video soon as well. When I get paid, I will show you how all that works because I do a cash um spending system and cash envelopes I will show you all that on another video but anyway so when I get paid I budget for our groceries um and that's for our family of three Richard also pays for some grocery he like goes to Tesco in the week and gets some snacks and bits and bobs so I do the bulk of grocery shopping for our family so I was probably a couple months ago watching YouTube and I found this lady I was just watching grocery hauls which I love to watch. And she does a massive monthly grocery haul. And she goes to Costco, which I love. So that's kind of why I started watching her. And she does two shops in a day. And she has a budget like me. And she sticks to it. And I love the way she did it. And she basically said she meals plans for a month. And goes shopping for the month. She buys all of her non-perishable items that can last a month. In say a freezer, cupboard, even fridge, if it's going to last you a month, you buy those items. And then she does once a week grocery top up shopping is what I call it um, for fresh produce and same milk and things like that. And that's what I've been doing for the last few months. And it's been working. I mean, I'm still trying to keep really tight on my budget and be good with that. And a couple months I've done for one or two months, I've done that really well. And then some months I've gone over. Um, but I do have a cushion for those kind of things but I'm you know we're we're getting better and we're learning that's what I'm doing um so basically what I'll do a couple days before payday I will go through my cupboards go through my fridge my freezer see what I have what I can work with to create some meals so that whatever I've already got I can use which is brilliant and then I'll go from there and I'll write down basically the month of day every day of the week and what we're going to have for dinner. And can, I'm at home at the moment working from home. And obviously Brody's homeschooling. So there's us at home as well. So we've been doing lunches. And I'm doing more meal prep as well. So Rich can have lunch. Which I didn't used to do. So we're preparing for those meals as well. And obviously breakfast options. Okay. But we don't do anything. I cook breakfast every day or anything. It's like cereal. We get these little dollar pancakes from uh, Costco. That help us. Or oats. Things like that. So it's our meals for the month and obviously I try and meal plan for at least six meals a week, six dinners a week um, and thinking like at least once a week we have a takeout or something or I'll just do a quick like grab all like what can I find in the freezer and put it in the air fryer or something or what have we got leftovers something like that is what I'll do. So what I thought I would do is give you this video I'll film kind of my process and how it works and give you some ideas on how I set up my grocery list to go and also my meal planning. So yeah, 
come along, have a little look how it goes for me. And also the next video coming on my channel will be my big monthly grocery haul. So I'm excited. I love monthly grocery haul day because I get to go to Costco and do all the shopping and I just really enjoy it. So it's my favorite time of the month. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll have a little show and show you guys what I do. Okay, so as I said, I will start by checking my fridge and freezer and cupboards to see what I have. So as you see, I mean, I'm good with my sparkling water, but that won't last me a month. So I probably will get those from Costco. Um, you know, we can see what kind of bits we need. Um, <laughs> we just been to Tesco today and that's our little treat meal for tomorrow instead of takeout. So that's cool. He's touched all my bits in here. That's not very organized. We got a couple yogurts back there. We some yogurts. Um, yeah, so I can see from here we need some Brody drinks. Um, obviously fr fresh fruit and veg I will get weekly. And when I go for my monthly, I will get um, for that next week included, if you know what I mean. So that's one week. Um, my cheeses, what have I got up here? Butter, some cheeses. So I'm pretty good with cheese. So, and then I can kind of think what I will get, what I can make for my meals in the month. So my freezer is probably the best place really that I think on my meals, because I can see what kind of leftover frozen meat I have left from the month before. See like here, I have got loads of these chicken, drum they're chicken drumsticks in there. I was gonna put those in the crock pot. So that's a meal already with a vegetable. So that's one night meal. I don't have to buy. I've got some frozen cod in there. So that's a meal. These little pieces that Brody loves. Actually, last time we went to Costco, they had a box of those eight for like $2.49. It was a really good bargain anyway. Um, I've got some beef strips. I think I have two of those. So kebabs or something I didn't make this month. So I can put that on my next month or a stew. Um, fries. I'm probably need some more chicken nights the last of the month. Um, some of my breaded chicken from Costco I need. I definitely need that. And these are so good from Costco in the air fryer. So if they have these next time, I will probably get them because they're really good. Um, and then some frozen bread in here. I've got lots of green beans, so that's fine. I've got some, a bag of cauliflower rice, so I don't need to put that on there for now because I probably won't go through that in the next two weeks so I can get that. It's all about space, isn't it, as well? So, so, so I probably need some, not any frozen fridge because I usually get fresh broccoli and stuff. Um, and then my meat drawers in here. I've got, I said, some diced beef, um, one thing of hot dogs and one thing of bacon. So I'll probably get bacon. We do eat that a lot and hot dogs from Costco I need because we eat those a lot as well. This is my frozen meat drawer. Again, I bought some shredded, two bags of shredded chicken, which I make like salads with it for lunch and stuff. I got one bag of chicken, so that's two breasts of chicken in there. So I definitely need more chicken. I got one, two, three, four bags of um, frozen meat. So that's from my Costco. And it's what I separate into bags um, to make them into meals. So, okay, so I've got a lot of mints, some chicken breasts. I need some more chicken, definitely. Um, I've got some meat, beef strips for two meals that can make. So that's a good start. Right, excuse me, because I'm making dinner and doing laundry at the same time. So um, please forgive my mess in my kitchen. So now I'll look at my cupboards, right? It looks really bare because if I show you my cupboards after I do my monthly shop, this is absolutely chock full of cans and packages. Okay, so please bear with me. So I definitely need peanut butter from Costco because if you watched my last haul, I had to buy this from Little, and it's okay, but nothing beats Skippy from Costco. So I need to get one of those. I might even start having to buy two because we go through it so quickly. <laughs> um, got some chili, got two things of corn. I like to have these on hand, that's a good side. Um, pasta sauce ragu, I get these from Costco in the six packs. Um, I probably won't need another pack of these this month because there's one, two, three, four, five of those and they'll be one meal each. So we won't eat all those in a month. So that's fine. This is the lasagna sauce that I have. I might be making lasagna sauce this weekend or in a couple days before I go shopping. So I might use that. 
and then some chopped toms. So I need some more chopped toms. I need um, some green fried beans. Um, I definitely need some over here. I've only got one taco sauce left, but I like to have a few of those. I need some taco sauce. I need some seasoning for my spaghetti. Um, so all that kind of stuff. My rices are up here. I've got, let me see if I can get this down. Let me see without breaking the container. That would really upset me. Okay, so in my rice, I got a couple of pure basmati, a quinoa pumpkin. I haven't really eaten that, so I won't get another one of those. But Mexican rice, we've got two of those left. And, you know, we always have those with our tacos or burritos. So that's okay with two. Um, and then the Thai green curry kit, I don't need to buy that. We always have that at least once a month. So I don't need, I might buy one more of those while I'm at Tesco. So I've got two. So that's two. That's actually probably three meals because there's leftovers usually. So then I've got a container of rice. I need some rice. That one that's empty is my pasta tubes. So I need some of that. It's on my chalkboard. I need some lasagna um, if I'm going to do lasagna and I definitely need spaghetti. So kind of staples. I'll get more lasagna if I'm going to buy it, if I'm going to make lasagna. And then this is our little like snack cupboard. Um, we got some crisps and things in there. I will get snacks like, I will get these muffins for Brody. He likes those. I'll get some more crackers. I'll get some more almonds because they're just things we eat and peanuts. Um, oh, this is my little stash of Oreos that I've got. Not what left there. <laughs> um, we'll see. And then this is our little like, popcorn in there. Many items are back there. Another little treat for mom and dad when Brody goes to bed. And then this is like our breakfast. Um, we got these little pancakes from Costco. I'll get another pack of those. I will also get instant oats. I'll add that to my list because Rich has those. I'll probably get one or two bagel packs and put some in the freezer because we'll use those all month. I need some bread. Um, I'm okay for Cheerios and some oats behind there as well I've got. So yeah, that is my cupboards and my fridge and freezer. And then what I do is have this blackboard in the kitchen. And so if I ever run out of something in the month and I think, well, that's something we'll definitely need next month, I will write it on the list. So this is even for the things for the week that I might come up with that I need for next week. So this is what I have. And then I have my ongoing Costco list as well on the side of it for, and it's usually the same kind of things on there. And that's my little monthly uh, meal plan there. I just put that there. So yeah, I'll go through this as well and put those on my list so I don't forget anything. And yeah, so that's kind of part one of my process and now I'll get on to trying to meal plan. So I've snuck upstairs for a quiet 10 minutes to be able to get my monthly grocery list and meal plan done. Okay so I've had a little look downstairs in the fridges and the freezer and the cupboards to see what I've got to kind of start my meal plan. So if I've got something in there I can easily make a meal for a uh, meal with, then I'll do that. That's brilliant. That's a great start. Yeah, I don't have to buy something. I have some meat left. I have some chicken, which will be great for this coming month. I'll just make sure those are on the meal plan. So front upstairs, I'm watching uh, Grey's Anatomy upstairs. I'm catching up from the beginning. So um, it'll take me a long time to watch, but I'm going to take some time out, sit up here in quiet, watch Grey's Anatomy and do my meal plan first and then grocery. Here we go. So I've done my four weeks as week one, week two, week three, and week four. So now I'll go from this list 
and I'll write my grocery list out of what I need, which I don't have already that I can put on my monthly grocery list of what can last in the fridge, freezer, or cupboards for the month. And then also I will then every week go through what I need for fresh items and then go through my cupboards to see what fresh other snacks or milk or whatever we need for that week. Okay, so I'm gonna get cracking on my shopping list now. So I've made a good start on my shopping list. As you can see, I've got some bits written down in category wise, what I'm gonna get for Aldi. And on the back, I've got Costco and Tesco, which I'll also go to, things I need from there. Not as much stuff, it's just stuff I can't get at Aldi that I need. And Costco is obviously, I know exactly the prices of these things. I round them up to the nearest pound um, because this is usually what I always get there. <laughs> Um, some of this stuff will last us more than a month anyway, van like Vanish, um, this breaded chicken, hot dogs, you know, it's just to top up what we've used so far. So now I've done that and gone through my list and those are things that I can buy that will last us the month for our meals. I will now go and look at my list that's up in the kitchen. I've shown you that previously in the video. Okay, so I've got my list together. It was you know, it doesn't look too much. I am that's what I've got so far. Aldi and the um, Costco and Tesco items that I need to get. Um, I may add a couple bits here and there before I go grocery shopping, but that's my main bulk of my list of things that I can get for the month that I can put in the freezer. Um, they'll stay fresh in the fridge for the month or the cupboards. I've also included in there the fresh items that we need for the coming week. So my weekly shop is in there as well as uh, you know the milk and vegetables and stuff that we needed for this for the coming week when I go um what I do now in my process is to basically go online and I look up each of these products on the website to see their cost and I'll put the cost next to the item on my shopping list so when I'm in the store I will be able to check that I've got what I need and it's at the price and before I go I know how much I'm going to spend at that store this is kind of hard work for me sometimes because I need to not buy extra things. And if I do, I have to take it from somewhere else and think, can I go without that for this month, etc., etc. So it helps me stick to my budget, which is really important to me to be able to hit our family goals. Uh, so I'll put the prices down by each item. And if I have, say, two of that item, it'll be the price of what two will be, etc. Um, and I'll have a total for each store at the bottom. And hopefully when I come out of the store, my receipt total matches my predicted total that I've written on my grocery list. Um, so that's what I'll do now. It's quite a process because obviously you're trying to find each of these items on the website. Um, I'll put the prices next to them. Um, and then that'll be my shopping list done and dusted. So next, I just got to find prices. Okay, so here I've done it. I've done all my prices. You can see I have everything listed that I will need. I've got my sections where I can find it, meat, veg, fruit, dairy, and other things like canned goods, etc. So all the prices next to it. And then my total at the bottom, which I hope my receipt will say less or equal to that if I've done it right at the end of the day. And then I've got my Costco total here. And again, for my Tesco bits and bobs that I can't get, Aldi. Again, um, my budget fits for this. So this is, I've got separate budget for Costco, separate budget for groceries. And then I will just top up this shopping every week with a weekly grocery shop of hopefully 30 pounds or less for milk and veg and fruit. So that's my shopping list. And my meal plan all sorted for the month of February to March. All done and dusted. So this does take me a little while to get all this done every month 
to do my grocery list and my meal plan. It does take a bit of time, but at the end of the day, it's worth it because I save time having to think every night or every morning, what should I get out of the freezer? Do I have it? Oh no, I need to go to the grocery store. Then the less times you go to a grocery store, the less money you're going to spend. And that works for me, less impulse buys, etc. So as I say, this we stick to as best we can. Some nights I think I look at the menu and I think, oh, I don't really want to eat that tonight or my family don't feel like that or I can't be asked to make it. Whatever it is, I've had a hard day or it's busy or whatever it might be. But then I have other bits. I can do something from the next week that I think sounds better or the next day and switch it around. And I just keep track of that. And I just have items in my stock that will cover me for that. Like I have a lot of pasta. We try and do low carb, but sometimes it's like, oh, the easy thing, put some pasta on, tuna in it, or just some red sauce. So I do things like that, and then I can have that easy peasy, and it doesn't take me too much, but I know I have that stuff in stock. So the time you spend doing all this once a month, it, it's worth it, because it's time consuming at the time, but then on a Monday evening when you've got home from work and school's finished, and you don't have to do the hard work, you just have to remember to get whatever out of the freezer that you needed. So it's quite good and also it helps me budget. It helps me stick to my budget. Less time I spend in a store, the less money I'm going to spend is my key. Is what I'm trying to save for other family goals. Uh, so that's it. That's my process. I hope you guys enjoyed this and got some information from it. As I say, look up the other channel, Pennies Into Pearls. She's on Instagram and YouTube. And that's kind of where I started this journey. And I've only been doing it a few months. So, you know, we're always improving, always tweaking it for our family and it might be a good idea for your families and helping you but always tweak it to suit your lives um, and then my next video that I'll probably have up is going to be either grow my big large monthly grocery haul or my budget because I'm going to do a whole video just on my budget and how I work that out and my cash envelopes and um my bu budget to paycheck method I use so thank you so much for watching if you like this kind of thing, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, um, hit the bell notification. I'll tell you every time I put a video up. Really happy to have you guys here. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys soon. Bye guys.